What up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy Keys. And it's your girl Mandy. Ew, ew. And we back with another video, video, video. Video. Yeah. Video, video, video. <laughs> and this time we're doing Chef Rob's Cafe. We have on the menu, we'll just show you. You know what I'm saying? We'll just show you what we got. <laughs> Let's show you what we got. Mm. We got them sweet plantains. No, I can't wait to get them in. We also got some crab cakes and some steamed veggies. The girl told us to get the steamed veggies. She's like, I'm telling you, get those. So those are the crab cakes. And they look so delectable. Mm -hmm. What's going on, baby? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Oh, oh yeah, this is the oxtails. <laughs> and then this one. is the oxtails, rice, and cabbage. I'm coming, y'all, I'm coming. And these are their jerk wings. The jerk wings, they smell so good, y'all. And I can tell they spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You sure can, and you can smell it. Uh -huh. And then last but not least, I'm going to let Key show y'all this one, because yeah. this is what he... Yeah, the he leaking has. one. The leaking <laughs> one, yeah, he is. His food chair. That curry, curry, curry. I think it's a lady in it. Oh, I'm going to take those. Right on the top, got to be. Got really some. careful, yeah. There we go. That curry goat. Is that curry goat or curry chicken? Curry goat. Curry goat. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Curry goat. Now they got sauce everywhere. Yes, they with do. With no napkin. Right. Where they do that at? Right there at Bob's Chef's Kitchen. Chef Rob. Oh, well, that's, you know. Chef Rob Cafe. Chefing up with Bob. And they're located in um, Sandy Springs, y'all, which is not far from the house. So we had to go check them out. We ain't gonna be too rough on them because we're gonna see what this food tastes like yeah. after this. What, baby? Blasting session. Okay, we're gonna do it, do it, do it. Yeah, let's see what you going through, <laughs> Mr. Bob Chef. Chef Rob's. <laughs> Rob, Bob. I can't, y'all. All right. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all your many blessings. Thank you for our friends and loved ones coming in to join us. We pray, oh Heavenly Father, that this food nourish our body. Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Y'all, we also stopped by Starbucks. Let me tell you how smart we getting with these drinks, y'all. We got us a mango dragon fruit, no fruit inclusions. Make it with the water, add the apple juice. And we only paid $5 for this. And we got us what? Two free cups of what? Nice. Anybody got time? Anybody got time, Starbucks? Mm -mm. Save my coins. <laughs> Save on my coins. Mm -hmm. Y'all, and yeah. you have more drink left on. I'm trying to tell you. Look at that. We still got drink left. We still got drink left, y'all. Mm. So, why I'm going to pay y'all? And you can tell the girl was kind of mad it was ordering it like this. I can't hear you. What are you saying? I can't hear you. Don't worry, boo. <laughs> you will hear me because I'll be at the drive through window telling you to order if I have to. <laughs> Not paying for two venti drinks anymore when I don't have to. Because we now know we can do it like this. Do it like this, like this, like this. You're going to do it, do it, do it. 
Too thirsty? <laughs> I'm thirsty. Oh, you need some to eat with. Sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm slowing the mukbang down. Yeah, my bad. I got the utensils all over here hidden. So we hope you guys are having a blessed day. Like I said, we're over here in Sandy Springs. They have a Mod's Pizza, a Nori the Nail Bar, Tropical Cafe, Eat Fit Go, Salon Lofts. Um, they have a Zoe's Kitchen, Starbucks. It's a really nice area over here, y'all. Mm -hmm. Really nice area. Yeah, so y'all see the Mod's Tales and that cabbage and that rice and peas. Mmm. It was good. I'm trying to get some sauce in there over everything. Yeah, it smells pretty good. Been a while, y'all. Mm -hmm. Since I had some curry goat. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they got it seasoned right. And it's tender. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. It was a good little uh, atmosphere. Mm-hmm. It was packed in there too. People were um, mainly dining in. So you could right. tell people like their food. So they they sell alcohol and everything. Mm-hmm. We'll get you some good Caribbean food, a nice drink, and enjoy your Saturday. Mm-hmm. We was gonna try this other place, y'all. I don't want to say their name. They ain't worth it. There was another place in downtown Atlanta that we were going to try. And baby just called to, you know, you know, see if it's a good time to come and order food. We want to be coming and it's super packed. And you're gonna get some crappy service. So we were just trying to make sure they was kind of slow. Like, is this kind of slow for y'all right now? I mean, we know it's a Saturday, everybody out and about having a good time, but we were just trying to see if maybe we could make sure our food was gonna be fresh and we'll do a moot bong on them. But they said straight up on the phone they weren't interested in the reviews of their food. Which tells me your food ain't all that anyway. And one like we're trying to be like guy, um, uh, what's his name, Guy Fetty? Mm -hmm. Guy Fetty, we want to try to be like Guy Fetty. We want to try to go in your kitchen and actually go in and taste your food. <laughs> that wasn't the deal. <laughs> the manager totally misinterpreted what we said. Mm -hmm. But that's all right, Cindy. <laughs> So far, Chef Rob on point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad it went there anyway. Let me get into this cabbage. Mmm. Cabbage fresh. Mmm. Fresh cabbage, y'all. And it ain't, it ain't been cooked too long. Mm -mm. Like we know the cabbage gets soggy, it still has a slight firmness to it, which makes this good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna y'all something out of there. Dig in. This song stuck in my head. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Who saying that? Uh -huh. Who saying that? Who? Yeah, Chris Brown. Yeah. 
That's all stuck in my head, y'all. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. Mm -mm. Stuck all in my head. Honey, it is hot out here. And your girl needs something to drink. I had to have me something to drink. This is some good food though. Mm -hmm. He's got that curry chicken going on for y'all. Oh, uh, that curry goat. I'm sorry, curry goat. I don't know why I, can't keep, I keep saying curry chicken. I think he was talking about curry chicken. Mm -hmm. And it keeps yeah, it's stuck in my head. Yeah, it's stuck in my head. We yeah, initially was gonna get some curry chicken. I'm gonna try crab cake for y'all. Keys over there, his own little world eating child. See, look. Let y'all see that. See them crab cakes? And they got the mixed vegetables in here, too. I'm trying to see what kind of vegetables these are. I see the onions, I see the bell pepper slices. They got some kind of glaze on it, like a little thick little glaze with it. Mm -hmm. And it looked like they got, um, I don't know if this is kale or, what is this? Can be kale, can be callaloo, can be something. You know, <laughs> I'm going to try the vegetables, y'all, real quick. She, she kept telling me to get these. So these are what the vegetables look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, sister so girl, my line. Okay. I'm glad we took our recommendation on that. Whatever this sauce is they put in here, make it really taste good. Mmm, -hmm. get the vegetables like a really nice flavor. Mmm. Mmm, -hmm. got celery in here. Mmm. Y'all ain't trying to turn. And this the crab cake, y'all. Look at that. It's thick. Mm-hmm. With Full some type of aioli or spicy mayonnaise or something. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is good. The crab cake is good. You want to taste taste some? Somebody eat something else. It's hot too. Spicy. Oh, that um. That stuff spicy on there. Mm-hmm. It's spicy on there, y'all. Yep. Mm-hmm. But it's real good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, it's spicy. In the first initial bite, it's you know you can't taste the spice, but once you start. Crab shell got in my too. That was a crab shell in there a little bit. So yeah, they're making that fresh. They make pre pre made up patties. They making them patties. Mm -mm. Yeah, they spicy, y'all. Yeah, you can tell they making them patties. Mm -hmm. They ain't giving you nothing like. Frozen. You know, frozen patties by the stuff. Mm -mm, that's not it. They making their food up in there. And it tastes good. Yeah, that's all. Um, Ooh, that's spicy. It's spicy, y'all. I need some ice. I definitely um. Uh, what's going on with that curry? Mm -hmm. You know, the curry gonna have a little spice. But whatever they they put in that little stuff, mm -hmm. it's, got, it's sweet. Uh huh. But that heat, oh yeah, it's in there. That heat overpowering for me. Oh. Keys do spice challenges, so you know he don't care. Yeah. It's it's good though. Y'all are like that. It's like um them. That um Samsung noodles, you know that little sweetness, but then that fire come in the end. 
got my ice. Mm -mm. Hang on. A sweet banana. Out of here. Hmm. One of them sweet bananas. Mm-hmm. I'll eat some right now. And then we got the sweet plantains, y'all. They look so good. We wanted it right there. We another one. Oh, that's fine. Good, okay. Yeah, These are so good, y'all. I love sweet plantains. Mm, I kind of cut hot, them. Though. Yeah, all the food hot. It ain't mm -hmm. lukewarm. Mm -mm. Mm. Ooh, you can tell that stuff hot. Mm -hmm. Cause this our uh, first initial meal. And you know when you eat something hot and it go down to your stomach? Oh yeah. It do, it, it start playing mm. tricks on you. Your mind, everything be super, super hot. On another mm. level hot. <laughs> yeah, that stuff start doing something to your stomach. Yep. And it's doing it to me. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is our first what Caribbean or Jamaican food we done ate in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And it's pretty good, y'all. I was um looking up uh, I was on Atlanta Eats Instagram and just looking up places we can go eat. And they were featured on there. And so I was like, shoot, we gotta um go over there and try them out. And they weren't far from the house. So, I'm like, shoot. I'm thinking that's how we gonna have to find different little places to eat is going to uh, Atlanta, uh, Atlanta Eats. Mm-hmm. And it's a TV show too, y'all. Where they feature different um and, uh, restaurants in the area. Yeah, some people in there. They was sitting at a table to go. And they was talking about different restaurants that they wanted to go eat at. And the slutty vegan came up. Mm. Now I experienced we like it it's good but they haven't been before and because there's nowhere to eat after you get your food they're not willing to stand in the long line yeah because they don't have a dining area you have yep. to get your food to go yeah slutty vegan doesn't have a dining area y'all it's a very smaller area where they cooking the food, you coming through the line, getting your food and walking back out the line and taking your bags and going back to your car mm. or wherever you found the park mm. in the neighborhood over there. I mean, like well, I said, me and Keys got blessed when we went because we were able to park right there. Yeah, beside. Um, beside the building. We was able to park in one of those side parking spots. Somebody had left and we got right in after them. And uh, it worked out for us. So, you know, that we so have been blessed like, that day. I don't want to get my food and sit on the curb. Yeah, you're gonna have to, baby. You can take it home. And the thing about it is, you don't want to take that kind of food home because it's just it's vegan burgers, or you know, plant-based burgers. And then on top of that, the fries, the fries are just basic fries with seasoning salt on them. In my opinion, from what I tasted. So, yeah, if you don't do YouTube or you, there's not a reason why you are doing review on Slutty Vegan. Yeah. Uh -uh. I would say if you ain't willing to, you know, if you ain't willing to take your food and go, then maybe it's not the place you want to go then. Maybe you want to go to another mm. plant-based place and get a sandwich or something. You know, I don't know. Yep. But mm -hmm. the food is worth the experience. It is, y'all. It really is. We we enjoyed it and we were glad we went and tried it out. But this Caribbean food off the chain. And I know if we get hungry later on, Key's gonna demolish it. Listen, y'all. We had I had got we had had breakfast for dinner the other night. Mind you, we didn't we hadn't had nothing to eat all day long. I had been at work all day and I had had nothing to eat either. And so I was like, dang, I never took a lunch break and over the evening just was kind of busy. So I was like, you know what? I want breakfast tonight. 
kids is like, you know, that sounds pretty good. So there's a Waffle House near us. So I went to the Waffle House and got us some breakfast, made fresh, of course, because there was no real no customers in there. So the cook, he had everything clean and it was like nobody in there. So he just cooked the food up and everything. I brought it home. And of course I was gonna have something left over. Y'all know that. I'm telling keys the next night. <laughs> Oh, the mom eat my breakfast. For, oh, eat my breakfast in the morning, and I'm gonna have my coffee. He told my sorry, babe. <laughs> he told my breakfast. Up. <laughs> my baby told my breakfast. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna go back and get you another breakfast meal." <laughs> I'm like. And at first that sounded good, but then I'm like, mm, this egg got too late in the day, you want breakfast no more. But it was just so funny though. Know? He was like, sorry, babe. As <laughs> soon as he said, sorry, babe, I knew he gave my food. <laughs> my baby said, hey, hey, your boy get hungry. Especially if he go to that gym. If he go to that gym, y'all, he be in there for hours on the end, and then he come home and take a shower, he gonna be hungry. That's when you gonna be your hungry, especially when you work out and you and you haven't eaten anything. You hadn't had, you had nothing, maybe some water while you was working out, but nothing else. By the time you leave the gym, you do be super, super hungry. I remember them days. Yeah, and I, I remember I them try days. To, mm -hmm. I, tr I try not, especially on leg days, y'all, is to eat anything before mm -hmm. you go to the gym because sometimes that food just goes straight through you mm -hmm. or I'm not trying to you know right do other stuff mm -hmm. while you you know working out and that's what we'll do y'all sometimes we won't, we won't we'll go to we most of the time that's the majority of our day we go the whole day without eating whole day without without eating and then We'll eat around about four or five o'clock. Or a majority, little later if I get out from getting majority, off work late. When we getting off work late. The majority of y'all, let me let me tell you how that works. When you hear somebody say, Oh, I went the whole day without eating. Look at it as like uh, doing uh, uh doing fasting. Hello, doing fasting. Mm -hmm. I like the burnt ones. Oh, it's one right there. I like the burnt ones, mm -hmm. having them little burnt ends. He like that. <laughs> you like your sausage like that. Yeah. You like all that stuff, burnt kind of like with a little hot Christmas Hot dogs. Soup. Mm, hot dogs burnt like that. burnt. Mm-hmm. Yep. But, I do too, y'all, because I don't like my stuff soft. It, it's like when you eat the meat and it ain't got that crisp to it, like sausage patties or Mm, like you said, hot dog sausages. If it don't have that little crisp to it, it's like, mm -mm. I gotta put your food back into the skillet myself and crisp it up. Yeah. I have to. But y'all, going the whole day without eating is really not going the whole day oh, without perfect. eating. Okay. Um, you start your first, uh, if, you, if you did, you know, morning, whatever time you get up, and then you decide to eat a meal around 12 o'clock, mm -hmm. around lunchtime. That's pretty much you starting your fast. You start at 12 and or you eat meal at um, 7. You know what I'm saying? That whole window, 12 to about 7 or 12 to about 6. Then you don't eat anymore again to the next day at 12 p.m. again. Mm -hmm. That's fasting. You have that whole window. That's all that is, man. And then some people got the notion of, of saying, oh, you didn't eat breakfast this morning. You can eat breakfast whenever. Mm -hmm. Breakfast mean break fast. You know? Breaking the fast, that's it. You can eat, just call it a meal, whatever meal you're gonna eat because uh, Everybody done made it such a um, big deal. Oh, you gotta eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. What is breakfast? Breakfast is whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You you can eat chicken in the morning. You can eat, uh, you know, whatever it is in the morning. Yeah, y'all, I was just saying, um, they just making a big deal out of everything and just done categorize everything like, like uh, First meal of the day is breakfast. Mm -hmm. Next meal of the day is lunch. Next meal is dinner. 
A meal is a meal is a meal. <laughs> Amen to that. Don't matter. And if it's a good one, it really don't yeah. matter. <laughs> But y'all, this video is not about that. Yeah. We just want to share that with y'all though. This video is actually about two things you wouldn't know about us. <laughs> yeah. Comes two out. things you didn't know. Two things you don't Accordingly, know. Accordingly, everybody saying, oh, we, we don't really know. Y'all just want to be meddling. Whatever. And know something personal. Whatever. <laughs> Right, that's all. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with it. When you love YouTubers and you like the content they creating and you a big fan, hey, I want to know more about you. Yep, so Here we sharing with y'all. If you go. in the comments, tell me something I don't know about you. Don't mm. be in here looking for information about me and then don't want to tell nothing about yourself. Well, I'll go first. Well, I ain't said nothing, kid. It wasn't me that said that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care you in the comments. You got oh, to say it in here. Get off them. Get off them. <laughs> you better give us something pertinent. Oh, since you talking, you need to be the one that started off. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he a mess. Two things I ain't gonna I've tell been him a, nothing. You won't tell him. <laughs> Hush your mouth. <laughs> I have been arrested four times. Probably more. But I'll share those four incidents with you. <laughs> Some people look at me and they're like, man, you know, a friend and me were talking last night. And um we were just talking about, you know, she was like, how did you turn your life around? Cause it's like you did a 360. And I was like, yeah, I was like, you know, I had to make a decision, a mental decision to just do better. You know, I had been arrested four times. I mean, starting from the age of 14, I was arrested for, uh, you know, battery on law enforcement officer. Um, I got into a fight with the um, school resource officer and we were tussling all over the ground. So that was my um, first arrest. Then I was arrested for passing worthless checks. Now, mind you, I wasn't passing worthless checks. I had just opened up a bank account. I was young, didn't know any better. Didn't even ask for any checks. But back in the day, they used to send you a box of checks in the mail whenever you open up a checking account. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, they ask you, hey, do you want checks? Because they know people don't really do checks like that nowadays. I know I didn't even do them back then. Because what I'm writing checks for? I just needed for my, my check to go direct deposit. It was a big thing. People getting their check direct deposited. And that's all I really wanted for me, a debit card. I didn't want any type of checks. But anyway, got the checks. Came in the mail. I had left them in the car by mistake. Gave somebody a ride. You know. And they stole a, a, a couple of the checkbooks. And was writing checks all over town. So I didn't know. I've been living. When I found out I was living, and when I found out who it was, who it was, Woo. who it pertained to, it was really even. It was even more disturbing, y'all, because it was an ex-boyfriend's sister. She did it. She was writing the checks all out of crazy on me. And the thing that really got me was the fact that she was arguing in the store with the manager about who she was and this and other. And mind you. Our age difference was really a, like a telltale to this 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 uh, manager. Cause it's like the girl on these checks got her birth date on them. She's only 17 years old or 18. I think I was 18 at the time or 17. And you're 20 something. And the way you look definitely don't look like you're 17, 18. So the manager was already skeptical. She was getting attitude, you know, being irate and everything about the checks. Now, tell you how God work. I had been in the store previously about a job at this particular store. I had been in there, been in there about a job. Mm. So the man kind of like remember my name. Like, I thought I met this girl before. This young girl looked nothing like you. And this is the same Amanda. So he then calls the number. Pay I'm attention thinking, to detail. Yeah. I'm <laughs> thinking, hey, he's calling me back about the job. No, he's calling me to tell me that somebody's in the store trying to write a $300 check on me for some stuff. And it was not me. And I'm like, whoa. So I'm trying to I'm trying to take care of the situation, mind you. My mom, who didn't even know, my mom knew about it, but she thought it was me writing the checks. So my mom is steady putting money in my checking account trying to cover these checks. 
So then finally she just get frustrated coming out. Why are you writing all these checks around town? What's going on with you? I'm like, huh? I ain't writing no I ain't got I don't even do checks. Oh I got a box of checks, I ain't even open them. Look in the car. Box of checks been bust open. Three folk um books gone. Mm. Anyway, needless to say, I got all my money back and everything with the bank because I had to prosecute the person who then tried to come to me to I give you the cash for the checks. You can't give me the cash for the checks at this point. The bank is finna take care of you. I ain't got nothing to do with it no more at this point. I got my money back. The bank, everything is already insured, so the bank's finna come for you because of what you did. It has nothing to do with me at this point. But yeah, that was another incident, y'all. It was kind of sad because, like I said, it was the it was the sister of, of, a, of a guy I was dating at the time who did that to me. So it was really sad and pathetic. Then I got into then I got into um I got I got arrested for domestic violence, <clears throat> you know, getting in an argument and fight with my siblings. And then I got arrested again. OG triple OG over there. Whatever. <laughs> John Wick. Whatever. And then I got arrested again. Headed to South Carolina. The police arrested me. He said he arrested me for not having a South Carolina license. I said, that's stupid. That don't even sound right. I don't have to have a license in your state to, to, to drive through your state. You don't even make no sense. So then he tried to tell me that if I didn't have $458 in cash to get him for the ticket, I was going to be arrested that night. So I'm like, huh? This this was sounding real crazy to me, y'all. I, I was not used to this South Carolina foolishness. I really wasn't. So then he said, oh, I think your Florida license is suspended. Either they suspended, they not suspended. Either I have a South Carolina license. I don't have a South Carolina license. Needless to say, I got arrested. Um, the judge the next day apologized to me. I was able to get out of there. The girls I was in jail with was like, girl, you're going to be here for 30 days or more. You from out of state too? And I'm like, why you say that? And the one girl was like, I'm from Miami. And a paper plate blew out my hand. And they put me in here. I've been here over 30 days now for littering. I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, I got to get out of here. Y'all, this is in Clarendon County, South Carolina. Never again. Never again. Okay? Straight foolishness. Buffoolery. And then the judge going to try to apologize to me the next day. I'm like, I ain't even I ain't interested in no apologies. Can I get my group and go? <laughs> I'm like, that's just how I felt. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had been through so much, y'all. Like, being arrested. Um, getting in fights. You know? I was, I mean, even in school, I was put out of school for 30 days. 10 days of fighting a the girl. Then I come back to school after my 10 day suspension. They tell me, oh, we got to put you out of school for 20 more days. Okay, what, what now? Oh, during the fight, you punched the teacher in the nose, broke the teacher's nose. I didn't even know I did that. I would ne have never done that to, um, uh, you know, to my teachers or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was trying to break the fight up, and she got, she got, you know, like, pop, pop. It was, it was accidental. You know what I'm saying? But still, I got put out of school for 30 days. I almost failed um the eighth grade because of that. But because I had did well in all other three semesters, I was. We ain't fine. gonna be raising no heathens around right here. <laughs> You get that from your daddy's side. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I get it from both sides. My mama that was off the chain too. <laughs> Don't let them blacks fool you either. <laughs> but listen, y'all. <clears throat> when I got ready to go to high school, I promised my mother. I said, you know what? I'm tired of putting you through this. I really was, y'all. Because mama was getting called at, at, at work. Having to leave the job about my behavior. Having to come up there to get me all kind of stuff it was just always some mess with me and um i said when i get in high school i'm gonna turn things around so if somebody try to start some mess i'm gonna go the other way i'm gonna go the other way for the sake of the fact that my mama has already been through enough with me and this foolishness now i'm gonna tell us one other incident where a girl took a hot cup of coffee out of a teacher's hand she was the teacher was walking by I think she was like a school administrator, Miss. I think I can't think of her name, Miss Clemens or something like that. She was walking by, and the girl took the coffee and threw it on me. Let me tell y'all something. Thank God that coffee got on my jacket and not on me, cause I promise y'all, I would have broke my, that promise to my mother. I would have broke it that day, cause I would. I'm telling y'all, I was gonna, I was gonna walk the dog in them hallways on that. I, I'm telling you, it took everything in me. And it was, it was a good teacher named Mr. Dykes. I never forget it. Mr. Dykes is a good, good teacher. I always think about him from time to time because he really helped me to understand that you are in control of your destiny. You are in control of your behavior. You are in control of everything. Nobody else is in control. So when she did that, luckily Mr. Dykes and everybody, you know, intervened right away. They intervened right away. And it was able to, you know, okay, got on your jacket. It didn't get on you. Did you get burnt? No, you didn't get burnt. Ain't it on your face? It's on your jacket. You can wash your jacket, 
when they start making it logical to me, then I start coming down like, okay, I ain't got to open up a can of, you know, <laughs> I ain't got to do it. I ain't got to do it out here today. I'm going to tell y'all something. That incident right there too taught me that the devil was testing me. The devil was trying to test me even more. I'm going to keep you into this cycle of fighting. I'm going to keep you in this cycle of going to jail, getting arrested. I'm going to keep you in this cycle as much as I can. I had to make the make the, the mindset and determination to say, you know what? No, you're not. No, you're not. It got on my jacket. It didn't get on me. I'm not burnt. Nothing's happened to me. I'm good. Move on. Y'all, I graduated with straight A's. I was voted class president. And I was voted most likely to succeed. I did a complete 360 because I made the decision in my mind that you know what? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna let you, uh, I ain't gonna let you have that power over me no more. I was tired, y'all. I'm gonna tell you something. You be when you be running around here in this foolishness, you get tired. You get tired. Sometimes you get tired. You just like, man, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep running around like this. I can't keep getting mad. I can't fight the world. Can't fight the world. Not with your hands. You know, at some point you gotta stop and say, come on, this is this ain't this ain't um working. This ain't working. Mm mm. Just a little bit. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. So I'm telling you. Mm hmm. Now y'all see. <laughs> I'm the what? lover. That's the. Fun. Oh, whatever. You boy, please. You really gonna see him lie? You gonna see him lie? I'm the lover, y'all. Whatever, and Mr. the fighter, Mr. Lover, Lover. Yeah, Lover and Fighter. Mr. Lover. <laughs> what, is <that? laughs> what is that? What move is that? Boy, you need to stop. <laughs> you don't curl off your shirt while you're trying to dance. Oh, yeah. Got Mr. Rob, Chef Rob, all over me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, y'all, I guess it's my turn. It sure is your turn. Oh, uh, I. Hey. Y'all already know, so I ain't got that. That won't be a a, a story to share with y'all. Uh, that's kind of cause how we talk to uh, we talk to each other and share our little stories. We have stuff in common, just alike, just like that. Yeah, we do. But that mine will be for another day. Yeah. Um, something you don't know about me. Uh, 2000 so uh, I think I was around by either 1920 21 2000 2001 uh, I telling got, his age <laughs> I got in a, uh, a car accident bad car accident y'all I flipped off the turnpike yup Look right off the turnpike. In Orlando. Um, I was the passenger, um, the driver. Um, we was driving, coming from somewhere out of town. I ain't gonna get into all of that. Um, it was foggy outside. Um, a car was coming to us, toward us, had his high beams on. And uh, he got kind of shook. We was uh, kind of tired from driving. And he threw his high beams and the fog kind of like, like flew back. And he got kind of, you know, anxious and threw the steering wheel. And when he threw that steering wheel, we flipped. Mm. And we, we know we was on the turnpike, but you know what I'm saying? Maybe gonna hit a guardrail or something. What we was, there was no guardrail. We flew right off the turnpike. Wow. Uh, he hit something in the front, either the um, front steering column, something like that, and went unconscious. As we flipping, I didn't hit anything and go unconscious, so I'm wide awake watching the car flip over and over and over and over again you know and then finally the car stops and it, it was like a movie like i could see everything from the front going uh because the windshield came out and it you could see the music the speakers going out the windows 
all kinds of stuff like that. And I'm, I'm telling y'all, you know, I, I could actually see this stuff. Mm -hmm. And after the car stopped, our bodies was where our feet was and our feet and everything was out here. Uh, Turned upside down. Yeah. Mm. And uh, I had to, I had to scurry out the window, cut my side up, all that kind of stuff. And then as I caught my breath, I had to get in and pull him out the window. <clears throat> Got out and uh, find out there was a guy that cut the grass um, on the little, you know, the shoulders of, while you down there. It was a guy down there cutting that grass and he had got all the way up and he was looking and that guy said he seen us flip off the thing and he kept going because he said he didn't want to see a dead body. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it hurt for a minute like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? This is what people be thinking. This is what people, you know. And this is why they don't help or respond yeah. like they should, yeah. You know, and I was like, great day, you know, so uh, everything we had, I had to look forward in the in the grass through the rubbers what I could uh, but the guy did call call the police and all that kind of stuff get yes some help. Uh, yes uh, the person that was driving their head was kind of gashed up and everything um, he did come through um, me I know like a tightness on my body so um i thought i was okay but i really wasn't okay the uh, adrenaline at the time yeah, when you had that adrenaline yeah. rush you feel like everything be okay you feel like you could function properly but as soon as reality set in and everything slows down boom yeah. that's when it's like so, whoa so like a full 45 to a 45 minutes to an hour go by um ambulance and all of that stuff come and uh, my body start to come down and my body just tighten up. I couldn't move and I fell. Like, face forward, bow. Passed out. Mm -hmm. Bow, just fell out. And guess mm -hmm. what? I fell in a ant pile. Great day. Chances of that, man. So, uh, I didn't end up going in an ambulance. I ended up going in a helicopter. Um, and they had to cut all my clothes off because of the answers and everything. Mm -hmm. So, butt booky naked, headed out to the hospital. And I, I think I was um, in like an unconscious, like for like a. In a two, coma. Yeah, for like two and a half days, something like that. And uh, uh, when I woke up, the uh, nurse had came to me and she had asked me, she's like, oh, you been out for this much, this much time? And you know what I asked the lady? Cause then I had like the long, I had my hair was long and I had the like braids and all that. Can y'all believe it? Keys had hair. <laughs> and uh. And with that, the lady, I, I asked the lady, was my hair messed up? And his whole face was messed up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, taking life for granted like that. So that that's my first, uh, my first. So, yeah, y'all. He was in a bad car bad accident. Bad car accident. And uh, I used to uh, get him the second one. Yeah, the like second that. one, go along with the first one. Mm -hmm. Cause that, cause that first accident. Uh, my second thing is that y'all don't probably don't know about me. I'm a heart patient. Because of that accident, you know what I'm saying. I end up hurting myself so bad. It gave me like a, a, a I think like an irregular heartbeat. Or mm -hmm. my heart, uh, uh, it beats real, real slow. Uh, sometimes if it beat beat real fast, uh, you know, it can't be, 
it can't slow down so I have to uh, take medication to slow my heart rhythm down kind of thing like that so that's something that and I know y'all like oh why you be doing what hey it's tell them baby yeah it ain't it's tell them baby it's, you gotta, you gotta yeah, I got a pacemaker D free up too. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let y'all see. Yeah, he my does love. a scar from his Yeah, I'm a heart D3. patient. Yep. And it 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 take it take time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know like I was finna say, y'all I'm like, <laughs> oh why he be doing what he be doing? Why he be eat? Cause I'm in control of mm -hmm. of things now. My body isn't in control anymore. Amen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then oh Ah, you can't be done. Yes, I can. I can. I can. I can work out. I, I can mm -hmm. eat what I want. And I I'm understand the basis of of what I do, what I need to take away, what I need to add. And let me just say like this that. too, baby. Let me just say I, I've gone to several appointments with Keys. When I met Keys, and I keep my things intact. Yes. I when I things. met Keys, I didn't even know. I didn't even notice y'all because. <clears throat> He was so into fitness and I see him doing these bodybuilding competitions and I see him eating these little small portions and get down to the correct weight size and I saw all this stuff he was doing and he was encouraging me. We were friends first, you know what I'm saying? He would come over to my house, work out with me at the gym and we would do stuff together. And one day I happened to get in his truck <clears throat> Cause at this time he had a brand new um, Chevy Avalanche, and I happened to get in his truck, and he was telling me to get something out the back seat for him, and I saw his medical binder, and it was so organized, y'all. You know I'm nosy, so he wasn't. <laughs> he see me looking, I was going through it, <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, he's a heart patient, and he's so organized with everything. Like, I mean, from doctor's appointments to his medical records, I mean. Anything if he want when he goes to the doctor, he if he don't know something off the top of his head, he can go in that binder and show them in this. And he got everything sectioned off. He was so organized. That was the one thing I loved about him because that's how I am. I'm very organized about things. So when I saw he was organized, it was like, whoa, oh my god, he's so organized. And he started telling me about what happened, and you know, I'm like, man, I'm like, there are people out here who don't even have this problem, yeah. who don't take care you of themselves as well you as can't you do. Allow certain situations to stunt your uh, mm -hmm. growth yeah so and I'm not gonna let another person tell me I I can't do this mm -hmm. uh, because of this mm -hmm. well I'm gonna find out for myself if I really can't do that and I, I determine that mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let you allow me oh you won't be able to work out anymore they tell me oh you'll never be able to work out again hey i'm in my 20s what are you talking about i never be able to work out again that's rubbish man and it's so sad because even his even his heart doctor today will tell you he said this is what's helping your heart working out this is what's helping your heart this is what's keeping it strong this was keeping your heart good it keys had got his health up so good y'all to where the doctor was like, well, maybe we should, you know, take the device out. Maybe you don't need it because you just, you know, you do so good for yourself. He, he's like, you know, slow down, <laughs> you know, yeah. but I'm good, but I'm good. Let, let's let's yeah. see. Mm -hmm. we, we don't want to overstep now. That's right. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I, I know you feeling good. I'm excited about that too. That's but right. Hey, mm -hmm. Let's hold up. Yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah, you and your body knows itself. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to know your body. Mm -hmm. Your body already knows what limitations, how far it can go, what it can't do and stuff, but you don't. Mm -hmm. And if you and as soon as something happens, well, I can't do that no more. Or I'ma have to um get disability because no, I'm not that type of person. Mm -mm. No, you you can't stop my mm -mm. my flow of things. We've had so know? many doctors, y'all, sit up in an office and say, well, would you would you would you want would you consider disability? I mean it's a check every month. I mean Keys felt totally insulted. Like don't try yeah, me. Don't 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 do that. <laughs> don't do that. Like don't, do don't that. try yeah. me like that. Yeah no oh yeah in your funny that okay keys is not yeah. the sit at home type of man um, to do nothing, don't want to work. Uh, this is not his personality. Nah, um, he into that. I, I say that. That's me. Mm -hmm. um, many others, uh, their circumstances can be uh, different. Yeah, so, you know, don't no, don't get don't get, don't get I us don't wrong want y'all to. 
Yeah, don't don't you know, get the wrong idea because no, we don't want nobody to get the wrong idea. We're just saying like what works in your household may work for you. Yeah. Like if you go to work and your husband stays home to keep the kids, things like that. Everybody has something that works for them in their environment, and that may work for them. But what, we're, what I'm saying is for me and Keys, Keys just he can't he can't sit still. Like you know, if I'm going to work and he wasn't going to work, that would just be bothering him. That'd be. I need to be the one providing for us. I need to be the one, you know, right. and, and that's and that's just the kind of man he is. And I know y'all answering, has it I have you ever been shocked? Yeah. Yeah, he's been times. Mm -hmm, by that Unstein mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I've been Especially shocked. working in sight with these bad yeah. behind kids. Well, why well, have to, you know, with adults too. Adults too, yeah. Adults too, where you have to do maneuvers and mm -hmm. stuff. Bye. And you with somebody mm -hmm. um, doing a hold, uh, mm -hmm. wrapping somebody up mm -hmm. and doing something, and they see you, boom! Whoa, what what just happened now? You okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. I just got shot. Oh, and yeah. that's another reason why we got out that field, too, y'all, of working with that kind of environment, and of, um, you know, that population of people in sight, because all that hands-on and all that stress, it, 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 at the end of the day, if something happens to you and you dead and gone, then people gonna keep on running their business, like business yeah. as usual. They ain't gonna think no more about you. So you have to think about yourself too. And if it's job or anything is stressing you out or causing you, um, you know, physical ailment, it's time to go. Yeah, cause it, ain't, it ain't even that serious, man. Because remember working yeah. them little kids, I remember people is walking out the unit with broken legs, having to go to the um the urgent care because their arm got sprained or you know they bruised up their knee. I'm like, this is yeah, this is not gotta, worth it. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be smart yeah. when you're dealing with uh, certain uh, youth and, and and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You really you really got to be smart about the situation. And having that really made me think a lot more. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's let's think this through real quick. Uh, you know, you had to be a quick thinker. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a quick decision maker about some things when you in that type of field corrections, uh, medical, mental health, uh, behavior health, any of that, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick. Mm -hmm. what, what's your next step? What's your next step? What's your next step? You know what I'm saying? And because of that, this right here, it allows you to be a critical thinker. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So uh, this 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 is another ailment mm -hmm. to me. It, it That right there is a superpower. Amen. For me. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't take because it you like know what I got it, a handicap. And you know what it shows to? It shows to everybody who do have a pacemaker defibrillator who is going through this, who has been diagnosed with um, some type of heart um, problem and who's been told that they will always have limitations on their life. He's a prime example of somebody who's been living yeah. for the last 20 something years with no limitations. So With no limitations. For you, those of you uh, that do have that, can you work out? Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't don't let nobody say because you can do something yeah. um, that has to do with uh, a, a training, fitness, yoga, anything that has to do with uh, living a, mm -hmm. a healthier life, lifestyle. And you know most doctors so, will tell you exercise is what helps the heart. That's what's pumping the oxygen and keeping the blood and everything flowing through the heart vessels, circulating through the heart vessels. You need to work out. You need to keep moving. You don't need to live a sedentary lifestyle. You need to be active. You know what I'm saying? So that's not true. Not being overactive, that could be a problem. If you're overactive, you're too, too active. You know what I'm saying? In, Overdoing it. In an in a, in a instance that your mm -hmm. body mm -hmm. can't handle it. Right. That's now, what I'm saying. Intensity of what you can't yeah, handle. Your, your body can't can can handle that and you are in tune what you got going on then that's different it's just like this right here i wouldn't expect mm -hmm. a 20 year old young man a 40 year old man and a 60 year old man to work out the same mm -hmm. i wouldn't expect it but if i saw a 40 year old man a 20 year old man working out the same okay yeah, cause we, it, it, it's we possible. Still, yeah, we still young like yeah, that. Yeah, it's you still can, possible. Yeah, it's still get, possible. You can get with it. Yeah. 40 years old, you, you get with it with a 20. 
Oh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. But yes, I, I wouldn't be too shocked at that. But I wouldn't expect that 60 year old man to be doing what the 20 year old man Indeed. doing Indeed. Up, so forth. And you and wouldn't you, expect and that. You, and, and some of them, and, and, and there's a few of them now. So it's a few men out there in their 60 that's, that really work out and been still, doing it for years and they can do it. That still get that, that still money. Get it. Still but get that business, everybody get have that to work. do what's best for their body. And as your body get older, things do change. So, you know, you have to keep That's that in right. consideration, too. One of them knees, that back. <laughs> knees and that back is, is serious, But, man. yes, you guys, I've been arrested four times. I graduated class president. And Keys, here is a heart patient with a pacemaker defibrillator. Yep. Yep. So, I can, <laughs> I can feel certain people that got in certain... Uh, accidents and stuff like that mm -hmm. that left them uh, to some type of body um, function mm -hmm. um, that's that's different now yeah. to what they're automatically used to mm -hmm. before they got into that accident right so man kudos to y'all and if you ain't you know you're not mm -hmm. letting that um, stop you from doing what you usually did before you got into mm -hmm. that that situation. Mm -hmm. Hey, because that, being told limit you have limitations on your life now. Oh, you can't do this. You'll never be able to do that. I mean, that's kind of like depressing. Like you know, even when Keys is in the hospital last, and I was sitting there by his bedside, the doctor gonna come call me out in the hallway. I want to tell you something. Oh, you let your husband know he can never he can never um do drugs. Do drugs. And I'm looking at this man like, <laughs> hold the up <laughs> hold the up <laughs> i was li i was literally like ready to go off on this doctor like are you really stupid right now like sir to, sir uh, are you sir right now i'm having an emotional moment my husband's laying in the hospital bed and you got the nerve to be talking about something let him know he can never do yeah, drugs we don't even do drugs we don't need no no ugh. people be trying to insult your Woo. intelligence on the on the sly or sometimes was ready to go off. giving out sarcasm to where you know it's so bold they even think you're not gonna catch it because it's so bold and up front first of all it's four of you doctors in the hallway talk about my husband's care and he's so muscular da -da -da -da. he's this he's got all that muscle and da -da -da -da. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to the conversation go I'm, go get the wife so i come out in the hallway because i heard him already saying go get the wife so i come out there because they think i'm gonna say something you know uh what what he is that um uh, uh the um Not statistics. What is that? Um, when they um stereotype stereotyping you, mm -hmm. um, already stereotyping because the way you look. Yeah. This is one reason. Right. But this beard, or you got a little bit of muscle stuff, mu muscles. Mm -hmm. Somebody see you automatically because they were in the hallway uh, talking do about steroids his or yep, something yep, like that. Yep. But you muscular. Oh man. I not say nothing to him. And I had to tell. And I had to. I, I said, sir, my oh husband. My God. I said, sir, my husband has done four bodybuilding competitions, and he's done them naturally. He's never been in the competitions with the men who do the steroids. And we and shout out to y'all, whoever, whatever you do, you do your thing. Nobody hating on you, nobody talking about you. Ain't, that ain't what we here for. But I'm just saying, for my husband, I know for a fact he's never done no steroids, and he's always been checked and cleared, cleared for those competitions because they check you before you can go into competition. You can't go into competition with no um for natural bodybuilding with no steroids and all that in your system. They check for that stuff. They check yeah, for that usage. Up. My husband has never done. Let me tell you something not too. Whether you you pee or you yes. do a polygraph test, right. they're gonna check. They're gonna check. And let me tell you something else too. I have worked with patients who do those steroids and the psych on the psych unit. And those men, I, I'm telling y'all, just in been, been my experience with the three or four men I've experienced who take them testosterone They're shots. They're aggressive. They are very aggressive. <laughs> they get very angry real quick and they will blow a gasket on your behind. I had a man literally throwing garbage cans, punching holes in the walls. I stayed behind the nurse station. I ain't coming out to talk to him. I ain't coming out to give him no shot. I ain't coming out to give him nothing until I know everybody. When I say everybody, I know there are enough men in this building who have secured his behind to that flow. And I'm talking about securing him deep down to that flow. I ain't coming out that to give nothing. That man was going ballistic. He was very muscular. He was tall. 
and he was going off by the medication and I closed the window on him quick and locked it. Bye bye, you go out there and do that. He started tearing up the unit. He started punching holes in the wall, throwing garbage cans. Okay, boo, you do that over there, I'ma call for help. Cause I, uh-uh, uh-uh, you ain't hitting, you ain't knocking me in my head. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mm -mm. But y'all, it's, mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Mm -mm. Don't let nobody tell you. Yeah, don't let nobody stop you. Got, you. got certain handicap yeah. or some ailment or mm -hmm. some type of uh, physical limb gone. A deformity, and, physical and deformity, deformities. or even a mental, even yeah. a, even a, something like a mental retardation. You know, people even judge you when you have autism. You know, you know, let me tell you something. Those are some of the smartest, smartest, resilient, and brilliant children in this world. They become some of the smartest adults in this world. But people will try to judge them, limit them, and put them in a category because of something they have. Let me tell you something. I may have autism. Autism don't have me. I may have a heart problem, a heart condition. You know what I'm saying? The heart condition don't have me. I have control of it. You know, I might have a mental retardation or I may lack um, a, a particular vocabulary. I can learn that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people put limitations on you and tell you that because you 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 got that, you can't do this. No, I got that. That don't got me. Right. I got it. It don't got me. It don't got me. Yeah, that stuff don't run me. Anger once, once had me, but I have anger now. I have it. I have it in control. Yeah. I know when to disperse it. I know when to de demolish it too. I know when it's a, it's a time and a place for everything. You're not doing no hurt, harm, or danger to my family. I'm good. I'm not going to get too pressed about too much stuff. If you don't give me good customer service, I don't get too pressed about it. Refund, please. That's if, it. if a job is trying to take me through some changes and stress, I quit. Let me tell y'all something real quick. I was I called my manager for one of my jobs just to kind of express some concerns I had about the environment or things that should should be done or how mm -hmm. they should be done. And this is like a PRN gig. This ain't even that full time. This is something I just do one to two days a week, y'all. And I would never do it full time because I ain't giving nobody five days a week of my time. No. And besides, at my full time job, I love my supervisor. She is such a sweet person. Understand you can go to her for anything and she actually cares about your concerns when I call somebody and I tell you my concerns about a place of environment and you tell me welcome to the um welcome to the um job <laughs> I told her straight up I told her straight up y'all I said listen I said okay if that's that that's the response I got I didn't get mad I said well, when it becomes too much for me or I don't want to do it anymore I'll let you know that's right it's just that it's just that simple. Nothing has to be hard, y'all. If something don't work for you, move on. Move on. People want you to believe that you have to be limited, that you have to be stressed, that you have to put up with this. You need a job. You got bills to pay. You got things to do. Yes, I do. And God has always provided. He will continue to provide. I'm not jealous of anybody. I'm not mad at anybody. I'm in a place now. If something don't work for me, I'm moving on. Better believe it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I told my husband, I ain't coming home mad at you, stressing about no job to you. But no, baby, I went there today. It didn't work out. I told him goodbye. Moving on. That's how you got to do things in life now. Don't bring that stress home to your house and don't let nobody put limitations on you. That's oh, right. you this, you can't do that. No, that's your fear. Don't project your fears onto me. No, we're not doing that. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> so that that's a little bit about us, y'all. I know y'all, yeah, y'all was ready for the juice. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what they gonna talk about? What they finna say? Well, we gave you, we gave y'all a little lot. Yeah, we did. Cause I sure enough wasn't gonna tell you, but she said, "Man, go on and go on, tell them, go, baby. I said, let them know. Put it out there. You're gonna yeah. put it out there. What it's gonna hurt? It's gonna help somebody. And then mm -hmm. you never know. We might have an event where a lot of people who do have heart conditions have any kind of deformities or any type of limitations, physical, whether they be physical, mental, might want to come out and might want to hear the story. You know, hear it in great detail and want to be a part of the experience. Like, man, thank you so much. Cause you don't know who you helping, and I know that. Yeah, cause I know. I I know that we help somebody in these videos uh, and that's the purpose of a it. lot of people uh, that I 
that I train uh, like that. Uh, oh, I, 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 I can't do this. Well, uh, what you need to do, as I said before, uh, as I posted that um, on a community board, mm -hmm. consult with consult or consult with your doctor first to see what you can't do. Just don't say you can't do that because oh you know this is wrong with me and don't be afraid to ask yes. your doctor why you can't do something they yeah. say you can't do something why you can't hey, do why, it why can't i do that or why can't because i do a modified if you if you ain't never if you ain't never tried to do it first how you know you ain't gonna be able to do it get y'all a wing we sorry we ain't none <laughs> and, and, and them things gonna get eight tonight he gonna do another move on <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. Y'all might see it again. Whatever. Whatever. Quit lying. Yeah. Just lying to yeah. people. Might have to do one. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm so happy that Key shared that with y'all because I had been wanting him to share that. And, um, you know, he been wanting to share it too. We just want, was waiting for the right time, you know, to go ahead and, you know, okay, when should we talk about this in our channel? When should we bring up certain things that have happened in our past? You know, I'm not ashamed of anything in my past. Um, another thing I can tell y'all right now, I'll give y'all another little secret. <laughs> well, it ain't a secret. Mm -hmm. Me and Keys got pregnant in 2011 and lost our baby. You know, a lot of people didn't know that. And uh, we, we weren't expecting to be parents. We weren't, we weren't even thinking about being parents. But when we found out, we were so excited. Like we just started preparing and planning everything, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We start preparing y'all and planning everything for that baby to come. And then I had a miscarriage, you know? So, you know, God do everything for a reason. You know, we are very blessed, you know? And I know that in his timing, all the things that we, we hope for and want will come to fruition, yeah. you know? And I only bring that up to say that, that, you know, we've had some hard times, keys in our, in our relationship. We've gone through the harder parts in our relationship. So let me tell you something, baby, we solid as a rock. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, Bentley and, um, Rolls Royce, they don't do commercials for their cars because those who can afford them will have them. You know what I'm saying? When you know your worth, you ain't got to share it with everybody. I know this, this, this here is solid. I know this is solid. This is solid right here. You know what I'm saying? This, th we ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. This is for real. This, this love is real. This ain't no fake, this ain't no fake fictitious, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, I met you, you know, a couple years ago. No, we've been together over 10 years now and we ain't going nowhere. Been together over 10 years, been married three. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Stuck like gorilla glue. <laughs> hey, you better tell them, baby. They don't know we done been through the harder parts. And we, we and if y'all think that's a lot we shared, we ain't shared it, we ain't even shared it in the major parts. We'll get it to another time though. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out, check out Chef Rob's Cafe if you are in this, um, Sandy Springs area yep. near Roswell Road is really Shop nice Rob, place. I cleaned them bones for you. It was a nice little plaza, y'all. You know, e parking was easy. wasn't hard to get up in there and get no food and get out of there. I, I enjoyed that because um, the food was good. I enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? I enjoyed it. Yeah, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all going and and uh. Keep sticking in there, man. Y'all support you support your boy. Support your girl. That's right. And you know, you know what time it is, y'all. It's time to move it on up. Mm -hmm. It's time to move these numbers up too, y'all. That's right. Go on and move them numbers up. We're trying to get to the the 50k. Mm -hmm. We're trying to do that. Yep. We're trying to uh and, and let me stop saying trying. We are going trying. to do that. Trying is an excuse. That right. word is trying. Uh, trying. Yeah. We keeping it, we throwing it away. Yep. So we we working on uh getting to the 50k. Y'all work with us. Mm -hmm. We working on getting y'all some merch. Work with us. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh we working on some other things behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Come on, we we need y'all. Get in there. Tell us what you want and we going to get that. And All we right. definitely want to do. Um, we definitely want to eventually have us uh, meet and greet and do us an event. Yeah, I know y'all. Y'all want that. We know a couple of people. Uh, not even a couple. A lot that's wanting mm. to do the collabs. Um, we want to do that too. We 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 ready. 
so and we've we talked to a few people, to... so we're just trying to make sure all our schedules coincide so yeah, that we can make, there we go, make it there happen. We go. And some people told us straight to up, say. and some people told us straight up, hey, we know you guys is moved to the area, y'all getting acclimated. So you know, we good and uh once they ready, we're gonna be ready. We're gonna have a good time, y'all. Because we love everybody in this platform and in this community. So and we we ready to meet some other if people. Y'all some more uh, videos. Gonna be in the Atlanta area. Just go on and hit us up. Wherever you hit us up in the comments, mm -hmm. in a DM, mm -hmm. in an email, mm -hmm. um, start making those um, uh, little um, times now, mm -hmm. so we can go on and jot you down on the list, so we can put y'all in. Put you in the schedule, yeah. Yeah, man. So, so you don't end up missing out if you want to do. Um, mm -hmm. a collab or so. Right, so. and then don't forget you guys, I do have a podcast, it's called Mandy Moments. It's on Anchor, it's on Apple, it's on Spotify, it's everywhere. Make sure you guys check out my podcast, support it, share it with one other person, 10 other people. Make sure you put that podcast everywhere that you can, you guys. And like he said, we're gonna be coming with a merch store. We also have a um, cash app, we have a PayPal, if you wanna support our channel. We're not begging, we just letting you know it's there. Yeah. Check the and description box. I know a lot of y'all been asking, uh, oh, when you gonna start a channel that got to do with workouts? Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to make a channel. And I'm going to put up one video. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how well it's going to do. Mm -hmm. If it make it to a 1,000 subscribers on a quick quick note, your boy going to fall off. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be decent. Yeah, because people, be people say they want stuff and then they don't support it. Like um, our boy Chris Jones was saying. Yeah. He was like, he'd be asking for stuff. He said, then they don't support it. He said, you be creating this stuff for them. And then they don't support it. He's like, so, you know, you got to be careful with that. He said, maybe, you know, do it. What he said? What he said he's going to do? Oh, uh, like, this uh, uh, pre golden. Pre-order. Uh, yeah, pre-order. Golden black stuff. shirt Chris, Chris Jones was thinking about doing. I hit him up. He said, man, people don't be supporting like you. Like, like they supposed to, but hey, you put them out there, I know I'm gonna get mine, cause I like to cut a rug. <laughs> I can't. All right, y'all. Don't, Don't forget, forget to, to what? Like this video. Thumbs it up, thumbs it up. Thumbs. Ain't gonna hurt nothing to share nothing. Hit us in the comments. Holla at your boy. Holla at your girl. You Ew. know, you know already, hit that bell. So you can be notified of all the content, mm. all the videos mm. that we have in mm. store for mm. you. Go on and <laughs> go on and go on and go on and welcome yourself if you a new subscriber. To the Double M Kingdom. Yeah. Double M's. Let my boy Rick Ross say. <laughs> no, we see y'all. We love you guys and we'll see you in our next video. Yeah. We out. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.